Welcome to another session in Math Mike. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hello everyone. Today's session is all about how to graph circle in Cartesian plane. There are steps to follow in order to graph a circle in Cartesian plane. Here are the following steps in graphing circles in a plane. Step 1. Draw Cartesian plane. Step 2. Identify the coordinate of a circle and the value of the radius. Third is to plot the center. Fourth is to use the center to draw the radius up, down, left, and right. And lastly is to connect the points to form a circle. Now in mathematics, there are different problems that you will encounter in graphing circle. So here are the following possible problems that will exist in graphing circle in Cartesian plane. Problem 1. Given a center, negative 1 and 3, and radius 4 units. Second problem, given a standard form. Problem C is given a general form. Now with this given problem, we will be graphing this separately. Let's start with the first problem, given the center and the radius. First step is to draw a Cartesian plane. Okay, again, first is to draw a Cartesian plane. That's it. Then place an interval. So this is positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4, positive 5, positive 6, and positive 7. Going down, you have positive, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, and so on. You may also place a number in order that uh, the interval are visible. Okay. Don't forget that on this direction, for the x-axis, all the numbers are positive. On this direction, all values are negative. For the y-axis, going up is a positive. And going down is negative. Okay, so we are done making a Cartesian plane. So, second step is to identify the center and the radius. With this problem, uh, given the center and the radius, directly we will be only plotting them and creating a radius in order that we can create a circle. So, first thing is to locate where is negative 1 and 3. Locate first the negative 1 and followed by the 3 for the y. So therefore, this is now your center point. Now, if that is the center of the circle, we can directly use the radius to create a circle. So first thing we'll do is to count 4 units going up, going down, left, and right. So let's start. Let's start going up. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, going down, so we have from the center point, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 
going to the negative for the x. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, going to the positive. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that's it. You are done uh, plotting all the points using the center and the radius. Lastly, is to connect all the dots to create a circle. So, all you need to do is connect all those points. Okay. That's it. Okay. That's it. And we are done creating a circle given a center and a radius. Next situation is given a standard form of a circle. Now, how to plot this one? Take note that the standard form has an equation x or the quantity of x minus h squared plus the quantity of y minus k squared is equivalent to r squared. So, we will now convert all those items into this form. So, for the x or the group of x here, uh, no need to replace any sign. So, just copy. For our group of y, because it is positive, so we will be converting that one into a negative. So, the result now would be y minus negative 1 squared. Equivalent to, take note, the, the, the form that we will be having must be in R squared. So, 16 is a per perfect squared number. So, therefore, we will be having 4 squared on that item. Directly, we already identify our h and k and also the radius. Our h and k is 1 and negative 1 and our radius is equivalent to 4. Directly, we can proceed now in creating a circle. So, all we need to do First is to create a Cartesian plane. That's it. If you are done creating a Cartesian plane, we will now plot the center. Okay, so for for my Cartesian plane, every interval is one unit. So, we'll be locating now where is 1 and negative 1. So, this is the positive for the x and going down for the negative for the y axis. So, that is now my center of the circle. Now, same process. We'll be counting 4 units going up, going down, left and right. So, let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4. Center point going down. 1. 2, 3, 4. Okay, going to the left, center point. 1, 2, 3, 4. Going to the right. 1, 2, 3, 4. And connect all the points. And that's it. We are done graphing a circle given a standard form. Now, lastly, would be the third problem, which is the general form. If the given item is a general form, all we need to, to do is to convert this one into a standard form. How to convert this general form into a standard form? Let's start. 
first thing you will do is to eliminate 4 on the given equation by using a property. So therefore, the result would be x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 2y equivalent to negative 4. Then, second would be group them according to variable. So we have x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 2y equivalent to negative 4. Then, with the given grouping, we'll convert that one into a perfect squared trinomial. So therefore, how to create a perfect squared trinomial? Okay, for the group of x, all we need to do is think of a number in your x the variable, okay, and for x, which uh, common number, and directly, if you think of a common number that is being factored by 4, directly just multiply that one. Okay, so if you think of negative 2 and negative 2, if I add this one, the result is negative 4, that is correct. But to get the PST, all you need to do is multiply that one. Okay, so therefore, if you multiply that one, the result is positive 4. So therefore, we get now the perfect squared trinomial. For the y, same process for the x. Think of a number that if you add the result is 2, which common, okay, common number. So these are the common numbers, 1 and 1. All you need to do is to multiply to get the perfect squared trinomial. So therefore, we have y squared plus 2y plus 1 is a perfect squared trinomial. Now, the number that you added on uh, the side must be added on the same side. So we have negative 4 plus 4 minus plus 1. Okay, then we'll be converting this perfect square trinomial into square of binomial. Results to x minus 2 squared plus y plus 1 squared equivalent to 1 squared. Let us place the squared because again, the form of the standard uh, in a circle is x or the quantity of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equivalent to r squared. Okay, so directly, we already have uh, the given item. So all we need to do is identify the h. The h in the given item is 2. The k is negative 1. And the radius is 1. And if you already have the values there, all you need to do is proceed now in the steps in creating a circle inside the Cartesian plane. So, first step is to draw Cartesian plane. Okay, so same process. Every interval is one unit. Okay. So, that's it. Second step is to, because we already have uh, the center and the radius, so all we need to do is identify where is or plot. Where is the center located? So 1, 2, then go down. So we have here our center. Then, if you observe, uh, the radius is 1 unit. So therefore, we'll be going um, 1 unit up, 1 unit down, 1 unit to the, to the left, and also to the right. So 1 unit up. Okay, 1 unit the left, okay, down, and right. Then directly create now a connection from all those points. And that's it. So we have now 
the circle in Cartesian plane given the general form. Hope this session help you in how to graph a circle in Cartesian plane. Thank you for watching.